Let's drink apple cider to rent a girlfriend. Chapter 180. Guys, we're at chapter 180. I started at chapter 149. This is, this is, y'all have come with me a long, 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 long way. The 7,000 subscriber special is coming. It's recorded and uh, Attack on Titan as well. Thank you guys so much for watching me and let's go ahead and drink apple cider to the reaction. Dang, that is hitting the spot today. So we got a subway zooming by with Kazuya standing looking a little bit awkward as usual. I suppose when you fall in love with someone, you want to be with them, to always have them by your side. It's happening. I'm doing this. With Umikun's party behind them, Kazuya feels determined. But to do what exactly? Chapter 180, The Girlfriend and Determination. Miyajima Reiji. A bouquet of flowers in your best suit? What's gotten into you, Kazuya? Why does Mizuhara look like that? With her Crocs. I'm begging you, Ruka-chan, please break up with- Please break up with me! I never thought in my life I would see somebody beg somebody to break up, break up, break up. I never thought in my life I'd see somebody beg to break up with them. I- I'm sorry. For the love of God, please. I'm in love with Mizuhara. Wow. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, duh. Oh! Oh! Her body language is so, like, done. She's not surprised in the slightest. Huh? Obviously I know that. You're saying this now? What, do you think I couldn't tell? What? Do you know whose name was put down for bathroom cleaning duties? Mizuhara, in your handwriting. You're constantly daydreaming on our dates, and when a girl passes by, if she's about 160 centimeters tall and has long black hair, you always check her out. Nobody with that name even works here. You're so cruel. You've always been cruel. I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. Me, not her. If this were some harem rom-com, that would start a shipping war. But, but, the girlfriend thing was just a trial, right? I'm sorry that I've kept this a secret until now, truly. B but, I felt like this whole time we've been trial dating, it's just not working. It's been a year now. Hmm, that's not what our relationship is. Desperation tackle. This reminds me of the narrator from Kaguya-sama. You just don't get it. Don't you know how much I love you? Whoa, whoa, hey, don't get too close. You and I, we're soulmates. I'll never do it, never ever. No matter what happens, I'm never breaking up with you. But, but then, what was the point of the trial? <laughs> if you ever have a girlfriend tell you I'm never breaking up with you when you're trying to break up with them, take that as a bad sign. <laughs> Despite what she said, she's heartbroken. Kazuya, you big insensitive jerk. So mean. I can't believe you'd come out and say that, stupid ape. I know. I know I forced him into this relationship. And I know that he's always been in love with Chizuru-san. But even so, still, why would he make such a declaration now? Has something changed his state of mind? Oh, Mizuhara. <laughs> Mizuhara. Huh? <sighs> what? You're back? What? Hey! She grabs him! Why? Kazuya, you're not planning on doing anything strange, are you? A silent yes. <laughs> What are you even thinking? Are you sure about this? Chizuru-san is a rental girlfriend! Don't you get that? 
Roka, weren't you also a rental girlfriend? Bruh. Do you have any idea what you're trying to do? You'd be breaking the cardinal rule. If you do that, you'll never be able to see her again. <laughs> huh? Was that the boss's voice I just heard? Back to work, back to work. Wait, we're not finished. I mean, at this point, it's not really a secret. You, you don't need to walk me home. I need to make sure you don't bump into Chizuru-san somewhere. This is why neighbors are nothing but trouble. <laughs> Dang. Kazuya looks pissed off. I've never really seen him looking pissed. He looks pissed. Oh, goodness. No matter how much she yelled at me. Come on, come on, get inside. What are you, security? I keep renting her. Now, stay in your room and don't come out. If you come out, there'll be big trouble, Buster. Balcony's off limits, too. What, what are you, my mom? No matter how much she hated me, you want me to walk you home? I'm fine, I can get home by myself. Don't come out. I kept going to see her. I even made a movie for her. Ah. Out of tissues. You degenerate you. This deserves a sip of apple cider. If you're a degenerate, sip apple cider with me. What if she came out and confessed to me right now? What if? Yeah, right. Like that ever happened. Hey, to be honest, I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Oh, sorry, I'm not really interested. How embarrassing, you really got the wrong idea. Huh? What the hell kind of character is that? No, absolutely not. The secret's already out anyway. And the lie I told Grandma. Same deal. When do I fix it? When do I say we broke up? When will it hurt her the least? I spent the whole time thinking that. But I see now. The best solution. It's been staring at me in the face all along. Take the lie. And make it come true. Oh my goodness, there's Mizuhana. What's he gonna do? Evening. <laughs> I've always been ready for this. I braced myself to get completely blown out. If she cuts me off, she cuts me off. <laughs> I made my own bed. What? Why so quiet? Weirdo. You reap what you sow. Wait. Huh? And when that happens, I'll tell my family. I'll even tell Kipe. My goodness, he's going all in. I'll come clean and tell everyone everything. Mizuhara. <laughs> she looks absolutely terrified. But I just can't hold back anymore. I'm going to confess to Mizuhara. Oh, this art. Reiji. Reiji. You always hit us with these these masterpieces. I can hang this on a wall. It's his use of lighting is just so incredible. <sighs> Sorry, I have to go. Oh. <laughs> she blew him off. Come on, get it together. She locked the door. Come on. What was that? That look. Kazuya will confess. Oh my goodness. As lies have become truth, he's grown up. Just a bit. Next time, the confession, mommy, and the bag. My, like, hands are shaking. I wanted to cry, but it didn't quite happen. But I think Mizuhara's about to cry. Anyways, y'all are probably wanting a review. Well, as of this week, guess who's gonna start on that review? What? It's gonna make it more Apple Bob. He's gonna be working on uh, the Girlfriend and the Tiger's Den review. But before that, we have the question of the day. If you could introduce any anime character to your parents, who would it be? Leave your interesting or creative comments in the comment section below, 
and you'll get a chance to get featured in next week's video with my favorite answers. Now, we have my favorite answers from last week's question coming up next as the trash tight beat gets settled. Let's go. It's time for that trash tight beat. Let's get it. All right, so last week's question was, if you could make a speech to join any anime crew, what would you say? Here are my favorite answers. I, Chad says, the anime crew I would join is Rent a Girlfriend, and I will not say anything and just bring them apple cider. My man, toast I, Chad, my toes. Oshnik Roy, I hope I said that right. Oshnik Roy says, I will join the Naruto anime crew with my S-Class talk no jutsu abilities. And the last answer I have, I know I don't have a whole lot this time. I think there was some confusion with what my question was, so I'm gonna try to make better questions for you guys in the future. But anyways, M-Man says, the Straw Hat Pirates, and the conversation would go like this. Me, can I join your crew? Luffy, yep! Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys for next week's video.